how does it feel to sort of be in this position now where we're getting down to the wire, two games left, and really the entire kind of NHL group is here together? Yeah, it's nice. Uh, you know, we've kind of had some split up groups, so some of the guys didn't really skate with them too much, so uh, it's nice to get everybody uh, out there together. And uh, tonight, obviously, a, a good test. Um, having so many or all the guys uh, in, in the lineup, I think it just... You know, it's an important game to just kind of, uh, you know, get us ready for the season and, and, and really dial in the details and, and the system and all that. So, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. In a sense, does it feel like less of a warm-up to the season than the past games just because you're now going up against a lot of full NHL squads? Yes, but I think the, the focus is, is on our game, that just, um, yeah, really hammering those details and, 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 and just kind of gain that confidence for the season. I think it's... It's about the way you prepare, and, and, and obviously this we want to win uh, every game. I think that's just how, how we are. We're competitive. So, um, yeah, the exhibition game or not, I think it's it's a good test for us and uh, just kind of get us ready for, for our first game uh, October 12th. Can you share some of those details that you see that maybe you want as a, as a group to sort of be a little more refined? Yeah, all the things that we can control, um, you know, those those uh, setup situations, face-offs, um, just kind of D-zone coverage, and then O-zone plays. I think uh, you know special teams are uh, you know, just a good good test for special teams as well, just to kind of see um, where we're at, and, and, and also see some things that we still got to work on. So um, yeah, we really want to be dialed in tonight, and, and like I said, um, make sure we come prepared and uh, just, you know 60 minutes of, uh, of Devils hockey. When you think about special teams that you're talking about there. Is it almost a unique thing with how much depth you guys have that there's one unit with, like, you guys, Jack, and then on the other side, you've got Jack, right? Like, there's just so much depth on this team now when it comes to your power play. Yeah, it's, I mean, <laughs> it's, a, it's a good problem to have. Um, I think, you know, you want to, special teams want to wanna help you win, win, win games, uh, power play, and, and, and penalty kills. So I think it's, it's, it's a good, it's a healthy competition within the team. Um, I mean, everybody wants to be out there and help the team, but, uh, you know, it's team first. So we got to find ways, uh, the special teams got to find ways to help us uh, win games this season. And, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to always see, uh, implement my, my strengths into that and just kind of work with everybody out there. You know, last year you kind of bounced around a few different spots on the power play so far here in the, in the net front. Uh, what do you like about being in that net front spot and how do you think that suits you? Yeah, I mean, I like to be in front of the net and just kind of find those pucks there and then, you know, take the goalies goalie's eyes and then uh, you know if there's, there's scrums find loose pucks and, and, and put them in the net so um, yeah I think for me it doesn't really matter what position I'm playing on the power play and like I said I want to help the team have success and team success it's, uh, it's what's, what it's all about so try to yeah put, give it everything you got and whatever position you're going to end up you can try to yeah improve your game and also be uh, be yeah kind of flexible to play uh, different spots. You've been able to be with uh, Nico and with uh, Holtzy the whole camp. Where do you feel like the chemistry is coming along with, with that line right now? Yeah, good. I thought uh, you know our first game was good. Second game, uh, not so great. We scored a goal. But I think just overall, it's it's for us to, to keep working. Um, you know, we want to have a good game, not just offensively, but also um, defensively. So I think those are, those are things we're going to work on. Uh, we're trying to work on in practice. And, just kind of uh, yeah, get familiar with each other, know each other's habits a little bit, and you know it's important to communicate. So I think that's that's what makes the chemistry to have um, conversations and kind of uh, help each other out out there. Dust, we're sort of getting down to the wire here. Just two preseason games left. Um, how exciting is it to be among sort of sort of what this NHL group is going to look like as you head into the regular season? Yeah, it's obviously great to have uh, more of like a normal schedule and. Uh, seeing the guys every day at the rink, not two two games, two different teams, but uh, it's been really fun, full camp. Uh, it's nice, though, when it's getting out of the wire for the, when the real hockey starts here, and uh, tonight's going to be a great test for us just to, you know, really feel out that what, you know, could possibly be a, a good look in the future. Has it been kind of weird where you weren't seeing a lot of the guys during camp and you guys were all on different schedules? Yeah, it was like there'd be... A stretch where you're seeing the same guy every day, but then uh, you know one of your other teammates that you you don't even you haven't seen him play, haven't watched him, haven't been on the ice with him at all, and now all of a sudden we're you're back out there again, and um, so yeah, it's a good good feeling for today. Today feels like a very normal uh, normal day. Uh, what are you feeling with your role in the power play right now, and as you guys adjust to Travis's power play scheme here? Um, great. I you know in the middle, I got to be a guy that uh, supports the puck all the time, always there for an option as an out. Um, and be in a position to shoot. Um, you know, I want to make sure that 
I, I give those guys in the half ball or net front just a, a play to make, and I, I can release pressure and, uh, like I said, keep myself in a scoring spot because uh, any shot from the middle is dangerous, so uh, I'll be ready for it. And finally, so far this camp you've been mainly with uh, Hala and Palat. What do you feel like that line can, can bring? Great. We, you know, we all like playing. Uh, we can all score. Uh, we work hard. We don't mind going in the corners. And I think we're, you know, pretty tough line to play against. Uh, we all think pretty good defensively, and uh, we want to make sure that we, we, we do score goals and turn it into offense. So, Lindy, when you get down to this part of training camp in the preseason and you're really going up against almost complete NHL rosters on the other side, what sort of changes in terms of what you need to see from your group and maybe how you guys are matching up? Well, I think the competitive level goes way up. Uh, you know, the individual battles on pucks, uh, attention to detail uh, when it comes to system and how you want to play on your own end and, uh, you know, the, the way you manage a puck inside a game. At this point, two games still to play and some decisions to be made, I understand. But where are you in terms of your satisfaction of what, you, what you've seen and looking forward to next week getting the season started? Uh, you know, we've... Uh, we started off a little bit later in camp on working on special teams. That was a focus for us so with new guys in. Uh, um, you know, I've liked what we've seen. I think there's, you know, areas we can be better. We've tried some different personnel, which uh, I think uh, can make us effective in, in certain situations, especially penalty killing. I think even, uh, you know, trying Jesper out there and using his speed. Uh, so far, we like what we've seen. So there's, uh, you know, different areas of the game that we looked at. And, uh, you know, it's exhibition. You can't really get too excited because uh, some of the lineups you play, you know, we're limited lineups. But uh, overall, uh, we're playing games. Uh, we've we've got goals inside those games, and for the most part, uh, we've we've got to where we wanted to get to. You've got a lot of talent on either unit of the power play. I know that's positions again are still to be decided. Fitzy said over the summer, hey guys are have to, gonna have to understand that team success may come at the expense of personal success. How do you deal with that? Because everyone feels who's got the ability, they should be out there on that first year. Yeah, no, I, you know, I think it, when you look at our, our power play right now, really we have a, a 1A and a 1B. Um, and, you know, maybe we can be a trendsetter where, you know, both units create some competition. You know, right now it's worked pretty good through the preseason, and we know that's only preseason. Um, but you got to be selfless. you got to give yourself up uh, to the team. Uh, maybe your role is going to be a little bit different initially to start the season. Um, but it's all about winning hockey games. Uh, you know, looking at guys who rotated and are battling for those fourth-line wing spots, be it a, a Notrick or a Lazar or a Bastion, what have you seen from, from each of them so far that is helping you maybe differentiate who's, who's in there on a, on a thing. I don't think there has been a, really a differentiate. I think all those guys have done a, have done a good job, have uh, done what we've expected. Uh, I've liked the, the way they've played. Uh, and I think to have uh, the luxury of having uh, those types of guys that uh, can kill penalties, win face-offs, uh, be those guys you can count, off, count on in key uh, defensive situations. Uh, uh, so far in camp, they've given me what we've been looking for.